welcome welcome please as you are joining me as you are joining me share the program share the program I welcome all of you. How are you doing? Happy New Week. Um, this topic I want to talk about today is very, it's a very interesting topic and uh, a topic that a lot of people always ask me. So I decided to talk about it in this uh, video. I just wanted to use it to make life so that you will be clarified. You will not be disturbing yourself my weeks is now very stressful i only come online whenever i have time i don't have strength but i just manage because i don't want to leave you people um waiting so like the topic you saw there semen leakage after um love making is it the cause of infertility in women we are going to look at how if it, if this assumption is true but please Please, 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 if you are watching this video, it means that you like what I'm doing. I beg you to share this program. If you look at the comment section, I don't reply because I will post ordinary video. Apart from when I'm live, I'll be shouting share, share, share. But if I post ordinary video, you guys do not share it. So if you are not sharing my video, please don't ask me questions because I'm not going to reply. One good turn deserves another. I can see everybody in the comment section. Queenie Joma, you are welcome. <laughs> My sister, uh, Mira's Kitchen, you are welcome. Um, Beauty, Nigeria, you are welcome. Um, Rosemary, you are welcome. Queen Ijoma, you are welcome. I welcome all of you. So this is what we are going to treat today. I have 20 people watching already. Please <coughs> share this video, share this program share it is not easy if you see my busy schedule you will pity for me but i still make our time answer some questions and also to come live to teach free majority of people that are doing this program they put it and um, pay event but mine is free so the only thing you can do is to share it so that other people can see it and come and learn and uh, my beloved sister sarah Sarah, you are welcome. How are you doing? So the topic is semen and uh, semen leakage after love making causes <laughs> causes infertility in women. Is it true? Is it because after making love with your husband, I don't know if I'm this words I'm using is um hash to uh, facebook um or greeting but this is just a teaching there's no how i can pronounce this word apart from the way i'm pronouncing it facebook so if the word is uh, hash to you pardon me this is a lecture i need to say it the way it is so is the reason why is um semen leakage like you people always call it spam leakage is it the reason why you are not getting pregnant? We are going to look at how, if it is true that this thing is affecting your conception or is a mere assumption. <coughs> so, now, um, I received, um, I think, about three or four messages, um, somebody crying, saying, Ma, I don't know if it is because anytime I make out with my husband, um, everything will pour away. <laughs> Whenever I hear everything will play well, I will just be laughing. So I'm saying, my husband, this thing is not entering inside me. That is why I'm not getting pregnant. I'm just laughing. I believe that those people are here now because I don't want after this thing, somebody will come and be asking me the same thing that I'm saying here. I'm going to take my time to explain how this thing works. <coughs> so now, what is semen? What is spam? Um, um, it seems a lot of people do not know the difference between the sperm and the semen. What those things you are seeing with your bare eyes, those things you are calling spam, like some of you do, is not spam, that is semen. 
the real sperm you cannot see it with your naked eyes you need the aid of a microscope to see the real sperm so what you are seeing or what you are assuming that is your husband's sperm that is coming out of you that is why after <coughs> love making some people hang their legs up some people um sleep in the bed for two hours only for them to wait <laughs> Only for them to wait for the spam or, or the semen they cause spam to go up. So that is false assumption. What you see with your bare eyes is semen. It is not spam. You cannot see spam with your naked eye. Spam can be seen with the aid of a microscope. I hope you understand this now. So, can semen analysis affect your fertility or does it cause infertility in women the answer is no um look at the things you have to focus on the things that can really cause infertility from your husband that is the things we are going to discuss right now the first thing is um you should learn how to manage in your own part you should learn how to manage stress and anxiety and I've been saying it uh, several, maybe a lot of you do not understand how stress and anxiety can affect your uh, conception greatly. It's very, very important you pay attention to this. If you do not learn how to manage your anxiety and stress, you will never get pregnant, despite the fact that everything might be well with you. But if you don't manage anxiety and stress, this can cause you not to ovulate at the same time not getting pregnant now how can stress affect your ovulation remember i told you guys that without ovulation there's nothing like conception so if you do not manage your stress level properly it's going to affect your ovulation and when you do not ovulate there will be nothing like conception now stress and anxiety can shut down activities of the hypothalamic uh, pituitary gland and uh, which controls the productive system this can disrupt the connection between your brain and your ovaries and cause delay or absence of lesion irregular or missed period i've been saying i told you people this that ovulation has something to do with your brain when you are under stress or anxiety your brain is not functioning properly your brains are not relaxed and remember all parts of the body works together there is this part of brain called hypothalamic this hypothalamic uh, pituitary gland <coughs> gonad axis is the type of this thing that connects the brain i don't know how to explain it is this brain is this thing that prepares the brain that reminds the brain your brain is empty your brain is nothing is this a, a gland that will remind the brain that it is time it is time for the uh, follicles to start to develop when you are under stress when uh, this thing can disrupt it can disrupt the connection between your brain and your ovaries every part of your body when it comes to conception works together from the brain to the um through the help of FSH, which um, connect the brain to start developing follicle from LH, luteinizing hormone, and um, which will trigger the ovulation. So if you are under stress, the majority problem a lot of women are having out there that I have discovered is that they left what they're supposed to do and be pursuing what they do not if you can manage your stress level, the semen analysis, uh, the semen leakage has nothing to do with your inability to conceive. We are going to look at the things that you are supposed to concentrate when it comes to the semen analysis. And um, whoever that is writing this question, please don't write question here. Um, um i don't know your name don't write question if you don't want to pay attention you go out pay attention when i finish i always give time for question you just jump in you start asking me question do you know what i'm talking about so 
you can manage your stress level your stress level can do you more harm than good because when you are under stress you are trying to disconnect hypothalamic and um, and your brain they work together it's just like when you are answering call now if you are answering a call now and all of a sudden you put the call on that hold the other person cannot be hearing you no matter that you might be speaking but the other person will not be hearing you when the person is not hearing you how can this person do what you are asking him or her to do so that is the way brain and um, stress works in your body so if you are trying to conceive you need to learn how to manage your stress level and anxiety whatever you are under anxiety just bear in mind that your brain is disconnected and your brain will not have any signal from any pituitary gland to go and uh, release or develop follicles so the number one thing you should be looking at instead of concentrating on um, semen leakage like some of you call it spam leakage what you are seeing is not spam what you are seeing is semen you cannot see spam with your naked eye so instead of you to concentrate on your semen leakage that everything is pouring out why not concentrate on the area of your stress and anxiety management so now when it comes to the your man's part your husband part, the things you are going to be looking at is this now the first thing is the quality of the spam the quality of the spam which your husband or your friend your whoever your partner is uh, releasing yes it's possible that after intercourse every man can release spam but you have to look at the quality of the spam these are the things that can get you pregnant not the ones the semen that is passing out such as number one is motility if you have been following me i always talk about spam motility and what is this spam motility spam motility simply uh, simply refers to a uh, movement if the spam is not able to swim fast remember this egg lasts only for 24 hours that is a day so if the spam is too slow the spam is not moving very fast to go and meet the egg and the egg stays up to 24 hours and the spam do not come to fertilize it the egg will just die off and uh, there will not be anything to be fertilized that month and um um, uh, pregnancy will not take place that much. This is the number one thing you have to look at. If you have been trying to conceive and uh, in your own part as a woman, you have been, your doctor have said that everything is good with you. Maybe your husband should go for spam analysis to check if the uh, count and um, motility and the morphology of your husband's sperm is okay so the first one i supposed to say before this one is the count you are, you have to check your husband's sperm count this is these are the things you these are the things that um um i go i go i will block you you are distracting me i go and um, marco i go i will block you I will block you i will block you this will be the last time i'm going to tell you stop writing something when i'm talking i will block you that message you send i will not repeat it you are the person that is sending me message 100 times do you think that if you send me by sending me the same message 100 times will make me to answer you if i'm busy if you like send it i think i blocked you there so if you send me a message uh, when i see it if i have time i will reply you cannot just, I'm here, Titi, you just jump into a uh, messenger because you have access to it. You start sending me a message, not only once, she sent the message up to four times so that I will answer you. I will not answer you. So, 
please 32 people i beg you to share this program this is very very important a lot of women are suffering from this i don't like when i'm talking i'll be distracted when once i'm distracted i wouldn't know where i stop why not pay attention first after this thing you can ask me questions always give room for questions if it is your first time please welcome exercise patients when i'm done you can ask me questions not when i'm i'm here talking about another thing you are here talking about another thing so the things after learning how to manage your stress level the next thing you are going to look at is i have said this is the quality of the spam such as the spam count the spam motility and morphology i'm going to explain all these things the spam count of course you guys know that when your husband have a low spam count he cannot impregnate you it's a problem but very minor and can easily be fixed if uh, if he takes the real medication and i have made a natural way that you can boost your husband's spam count i made a, um a juice i think um smoothie about that if you haven't watched it go to Toti channel on youtube or you can go through the this facebook you might see it then the next thing is motility and i talked about motility's movement of the spam like i told you guys that we have two types of uh, chromosome we have y chromo women have y chromosome and husband uh, your wife and man have um x i don't i don't like to be provoked once i provoke i will not be concentrating please i beg each and every one of you just listen don't write anything letter you can write if you provoke me you are distracting me I am not reading this thing anywhere. So, your husband produces X and Y chromosome. So, when your husband produces X chromosome mixed with your own X chromosome, then you become pregnant for a female child. So, if you are not giving birth to a male child, it's not really your problem. The problem is from your husband. And this Y chromosome run faster but dies quick so what am i trying to say now if you check your husband's spam count when your husband's spam is healthy <clears throat> if your husband's spam is healthy and you are okay you wouldn't have any issue that's why you see some people they can get pregnant anytime they want because everything is okay for them their husband's spam count is okay and they themselves they, they are they they, they ovulate they release held egg so <clears throat> this can also facilitate uh, your ability of uh, conception but once the sperm the same way women have problem when it comes to infertility men also have the problem if your husband have the problem of morphology if your husband have the problem of a sperm motility if your husband have the problem of sperm count it can as well affect you so when it comes to one both of you when you start having the problem of infertility is something that both husband and wife need to stick together you need to work together you don't uh, blame the other person that he is the she is the cause of uh, of her inability to concept uh, as some, for example some men who always do away match you guys understand what i mean by away match who have girlfriend out outside maybe they have impregnated somebody before now they will be using it as an excuse that after all they have they don't know that as the as your age grows up that is how your health deteriorates so um that is how it is so the things you're supposed to focus instead of focusing on the leakage of semen focus on the stress management if you manage your stress if you have been trying to conceive for a very long time and you have undergo all the necessary tests and it tells you that everything is okay everything is okay and you are not getting pregnant please go and check your stress relax relax i know how i know how it feels i know how it feels i wouldn't be here saying that i don't know how i know i understand everything that is why i open up this page to encourage but at the process of encouraging i don't like fantasies i don't sugarcoat something you know people like uh, um who gave mr favor peace favor peace thank you so much for this uh, star 
um your best friend the person that is your friend that you should call your friend is that person that will look into your eye and tell you sarah favor this thing you are doing is not good this thing if you do it this way that is your friend not somebody that will come and sugarcoat paint something the way you will feel happy but your problem is still there just like i'm telling somebody somebody sent me a message and, and they, I think I saw it yesterday. I have not replied. I think I replied. She said her doctor said that her tubes are blocked. And I have said this. I don't know how people want me to be saying something. Maybe you want me to be lying. I cannot lie. This is a sensitive. This what I'm doing in this page in this platform is a sensitive issue. I don't. I don't need to mis uh, mislead anybody. I cannot because this is health issue. A lot of people depend on what I'm teaching. A lot of people are benefiting from it. How will it look like when I come here to give you false information that cannot help you solve the problem? Would you also like to follow me? No. So I have been saying this, that we have two blockage. We have bilateral tube blockage. We are by the two fallopian tubes are blocked. Women, every woman have to fallopian tubes some tubes are blocked lightly they just need a bit push for them to open but if you have gone for her cg and they tell you that your two tubes are blocked my sister i beg i don't know if the person who asked that question is here the next option is ivf in vitro fertilization well you might go to other places <laughs> There is a lot of videos. People will tell you, drink this, take this. It will unblock your tubes. But I'm here to tell you the truth. Once the two tubes are blocked, what does it mean? I will be, as I'm going, I will be reflecting on certain things. What does it mean? This tubes is just an entrance, a way. We are by this sperm and your egg meet. Now you have um, two tubes, just like you have two ovaries. Now, if um, one tube is blocked, you can still get pregnant with the other one if that one is open. But in a situation whereby the two tubes are blocked, blocked like this, my dear sister or my dear brother, I don't know if there's a man that is watching, is there any other way that the sperm and the egg can meet? The answer is no. So what you need is in vitro fertilization. That is IVF. There, they need to implant this fertilized egg direct to your womb. I know that a lot of people are shying away from it because of it's expensive. But I think in Nigeria, there are many organizations that help people who want to become pregnant, you know, um, to support them. I don't know. Maybe you go and figure it out. But believing, taking this, doing this with two tubes block, I cannot guarantee you. Well, God can do miracle if you believe in God. He can do miracle. But I'm talking, I'm saying from the real sense. So if your two tubes are blocked, don't ask me what can I do. I've been saying it and I'm re that's why I'm repeating it. Now back to our studies. <laughs> I'm just surprised that people are not here today. This topic is very, very important. You will see, once I finish this um, stream now, people will start asking me questions, the same thing that I'm saying in the comment section. So, now, what you should be looking at is the quality of the spam. Number one, I say, such as the spam count. You have to look at the spam count. You have to look at the spam motility. You have to look at <coughs> the spam morphology. Now, what is a sperm morphology? Sperm morphology also refers to the shape of the sperm, which include the head size and the head DNA content, the mat piece appears and the structure of the tail. The head shape is important because it can affect the sperm ability to penetrate the outer surface of a human woman's egg to fertilize it. So, sperm morphology. What is morpholo morphology of the sperm? Now, the morphology simply refers to the size, shape, and appearance of a man's sperm. 
the sperm must have head, it must have meat piece, and it must have head. So, which when if it is abnormal, if 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 it appears abnormal, it can um, decrease fertility and make it more difficult to fertilize the woman's egg. So this is to show you that it is not every sperm that your husband release that can get you pregnant. If the count, motility, morphology is not strong, you will never become pregnant until these things are being treated. So these are the things, the major things, the major factors that you need to be looking into instead of um, looking into how many hours, how many minutes you need to sleep, you need to lie down before you wake up after inter intercourse. This doesn't uh, play any, like the Dutch, can, Dutch has said, they said this P can roll. This P, um, sleeping for 30 minutes, sleeping for an hour, sleeping, raising your leg up. And uh, what else does people do in order to make sure that I've said it several times. Once you are healthy and your husband, just a drop. If you have not been noticing this, watch yourself. Whenever you have intercourse with your man, before the real semen starts coming out, you will see something like oil. If a woman is fertile and uh, what is coming out from the man is strong, just the drop of that thing can get you pregnant. So after love making, stop lying down for 30 minutes or raising your leg up that speak kind of role that plays no role your role is to do all these things that i said if your husband have not come for any test please let him go if you yourself you have been trying to conceive for so long if you have been trying to conceive for so long and you haven't undergo any test you are your problem you need once you try on your own for six months and nothing is happening, that should tell you that you have a problem. If you don't have a problem, once you have intercourse on the right time, you become pregnant. Our forefathers, our um, grandmothers, do they go to hospital? They just have their distance. Once they know their way of calculating it, they just have their distance and they, are, they become pregnant. But if you are, if you are a woman, you have been trying to conceive for many years and nothing is happening. And you, 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 you noticed the problem we have is that we don't watch our body. We don't look at ourselves. You know, we always um, think that this comes normal. And somebody who is 26 can easily get pregnant. I say 26 from 20 upwards, they can easily get uh, pregnant if they don't have hormonal issues. But once you have clocked 35 and you are not getting pregnant after six months, there is a problem. And this will be giving you a sign. Maybe you will not, because you don't pay attention <coughs> to your body, you might not understand this. The first sign of infertility that you will notice is that sometimes you, uh, your menstruation will be irregular. Once your menstruation is not regular, it's a sign that um you might not be ovulating and when you don't ovulate you don't expect yourself to be pregnant so another sign is um you might be having uh pelvic pains heavy bleedings you know sometimes we think it's normal but all these things are not normal you need to be paying attention for your body to your body for you to understand and if you have been trying for so long and you are not getting pregnant you have done please go and do your uh, tube tests go and check if your tubes are open and also go and check your eggs if you still have egg because a lot of women have uh, ovarian failure before they enter menopause so these are the two important things you need to check uh, three sorry the first one you need to check if you are really ovulating because ovulation is the bed rock of conception Without ovulation, there will not be any um, pregnancy because ovulation is, uh, is simply the release of matured egg from your ovary. 
when you do not release any egg there will be nothing for the sperm to fertilize the second thing you need to do is you try to and in the process of learning if you are ovulated this is when you'll be doing hormonal tests to check because anytime you are not ovulating it simply means that and you have health issues any of your hormones are not balanced either um, thyroid um, prolactin um, estrogen and progesterone if all these hormones have problem they are going to affect your ov um, ovulation if you have pcos if you have that is polystic ovarian syndrome if you have cysts ovarian cysts depending the type of ovarian cyst some people will come and tell, ask me i have ovarian cysts you have to know the type of um, cyst there are cysts that are not harmful to your body they are just a formula or follicular cysts this is every circle the egg is supposed to be released supposed to be burst but if in the uh, process the egg did not burst then within two to three circles this cyst will go out it doesn't affect your conception doesn't disturb you this is not ovarian cyst the ovarian cyst that disturbs is called diamond cyst and this cyst are the uh, feed a uh, sack filled with human hair sometimes you will see human body human hairs filled with sack so these are the type and these ones are always large they are more than five point uh, five to six centimeter and how would you know that these ones are dangerous you will be having heavy bleeding you have abnormal uh, lower abnormal pain you have you have a painful menstruation you have a painful intercourse so these are the type of seeds that you should be worried about another thing that can make you not to get pregnant is fibroid uterine fibroid when the fibroid is inside your womb when it is outside it cannot affect your conception but when it is inside sometimes it doesn't affect you but it's always good to treat it before you become pregnant because if you become pregnant with fibroid inside your womb because this fibroid feed with um the feed from estrogen immediately you please i need to answer this call please hello Wie Nein. Warum? Weil ich habe in die Schule jetzt gekommen und ich habe ähm, etwas gegessen mit Trinken. Sie hat mich früher angerufen, dass äh, Pascal Brauke... Nein, Pascal ist nicht hier. Nicht zu Hause. Okay, dann muss ich weiterschauen. Ich melde mich bald nochmal, ja? Also, also, okay. Hat er das schon mal gemacht? Ist er schon im Kindergarten weggelaufen? Nein, Pascal kann nicht alleine da machen. Go ahead. Okay, alles klar. Soll ich dabei kommen oder ich muss warten? Ich warte mal, ich warte mal auf eben meine, meine Chefin. Okay. 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 So guys, please, I need to, I need to end this stream now. Maybe we'll continue. I'm, we're having problem here. They said my son is not in the school. So I need to go there now to find out. Maybe sometimes we'll continue. Please pardon me.